Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. I have an exciting video for you. Well, I'm excited and I hope I get you excited because if you are a recollection creative year planner, then you need to get excited. <laughs> Remember back when, when it was this big old lawsuit about Eric and Condren and Michael's uh, actually making, oops, sorry, actually making this planner here, how she was upset and, you know, she had a right to be because I guess it was their, well, I'm not going to speculate, but from what I heard, it was some of her de design team who went over to Michael's. And let me tell you, I love my planner. As you can see, I plan in this planner. I record my weeklies and my monthlies in here. I love this planner. I make my own covers for it. So you know that I was bummed out when they said it's be no more and they just wiped these planners off the shelves. I was so upset, upset. I'm like, what am I gonna do now? I don't wanna buy an Eric Condren because not that I don't like it, it's just that I don't want to spend the money on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I cannot justify spending so much money on just a yearly planner. And even if it's a 18 months planner, it's not like I could use the planner again after that one year or 18 months. Do you know what I mean? It's not like it is a binder that I could just take the inserts out and put new ones in and use that binder forever. No, it's just, I can't justify it. So... To my surprise, when I was scrolling down Instagram, like I always do, I actually came upon a picture um, from Sweet Kawaii Design that she posted of her Michaels having the new Recollections Planner. I mean new, like 2018 new and also new versions of it, like 2017 to 18 basically an 18 months planner. I was ecstatic and made my day. So this video, I'm just gonna show you what I got in Michael's today, because today is Friday and I'm hopefully crossing my fingers, if I can, <laughs> crossing my fingers to have this edited and uploaded for today, if not early morning tomorrow on Saturday. So this here too, I've noticed, it is the Recollection Creative Year um, accessory kit. They did not have this last year did not because I would have purchased it so this is something new as well so let's go ahead and get into this video I am going to go through this this is a 249 piece accessory kit and I'm so glad I saw this and then there's like maybe I want to say six but I could be wrong it could be four not four it could be five or six different um styles to choose from. I think everything comes the same, but different styles of it. So in this first pocket here, it comes a little um, bookmark, which is awesome. It's a laminated and you can actually rip it out and put it back because it is detachable, which is awesome. And this here is so cute, but it's kind of wonky. I guess it got messed up somehow, but I'm really not to worry about it because I want to actually take this portion out. It has stickers here. Um, hopefully you can see that. It has speech bubble here, an arrow, a flag, uh, like a ombre checklist. And this here, which is my favorite one, a reminder it says paid to the order of. So if you have to write a check for someone, it reminds you who you have to do it and how much. And you have gold foiling here, the same thing as this. You get gold foil accent. I like this a lot. So what I want to do, I want to actually take this portion off and punch holes on it so I can put it in my planner as well. So those are the first two things that I pulled out. So there's like three different pouches here. So in the second pouch here, which I was excited to see this, and it's like the main reason why I want it was this here. This laminated thing here is so awesome. It reminds me a lot of the laminated um removable to-do list from Erin Condren. This one says spending log date description and amount and on this side here you get to-do list and it says get things done. This is 
awesome to have in your planner. Now I'm definitely gonna have to go out there and purchase me some dry erase markers. This is awesome. And then you get this here, which is, uh, I guess to hold your planner shut. But this is curious to me. It goes up and down. It's not to hold it or that it's sewn like this section. So I am wondering if you could, I don't know, I think you can keep a pen on it. like that when you have it in your planner or probably this way this is how I would do it if I was to use it like that that's cool and by the way this is a Le Pen pen it's the thin one so I think you would need a, a thinner let me see if I could use this this is a paper made ink joy mm, I don't know Oh yeah, you could do that too. I don't know about actually put it inside because it looks like, yeah, it's too big and bulky for it. So if you want to actually keep it, I'm sorry, I like that. If you actually want to keep a pen on it, I think you will have to purchase a pen like a Le Pen pen, this thin, and it will definitely go in there, see, easily. Okay, that is that. And the second, well, third thing in the second pouch is this here. You could also attach it to your planner. It's like stencils and a ruler, which is pretty cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, I like this. So that is that. And the last one, there are just stickers here with um, gold accent. You get a lot of pay bills spending and paying bills same thing on this side sorry about that this one here yeah this is pretty cool so this is originally $14.99 I think or $95 and it was on sale for 50% off I think it was $7.49 which was a steal and yeah I got that today because in my Michaels um the recollections were 50% off, and I also used a 20% off um, coupon, and that also includes sale items, so that's pretty good. So here is my planner. I am so ecstatic to actually start filming my weeklies in this. I did choose, well, I wanted originally to see if they had a black oil, because I would love a black oil but um they didn't have it they had this gold and rose gold which i didn't know they had rose gold last year i think that is a new coil don't quote me on that but i think and as you can see my current planner is a gold coil it's not silver so i actually wanted to change it up and use silver on here so and this is what it says here it says it's an 18 spiral planner and it doesn't have the amount on here, but it is $29.99, but I bought it because 50% off for $14.99. So here is the beautiful cover. I love this. I mean, love it. It's like a planner's planner. Do you know what I mean? I know it sounds kind of weird, but like... I love like pretty covers like this and let me tell you they had a bunch of pretty covers but this one screams more like yeah this is me in a nutshell I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna show you why because the actual dividers in here are perfect for this planner so this is the front cover and this is the inside of the front cover which is the reason why I got this style of the accessories because they match it more. It doesn't have the gold because I don't have a gold coil, but I'm fine with that. I am fine mixing uh, metal colors. Not a big deal to me. So this is the front here, and I didn't tell you, but this is an 18-month planner. Did I? Yeah, it's an 18-month planner, and I originally was going to just go and get me 2018 planner to be set because obviously I only use but five months in this planner and I don't want to be wasteful but unfortunately they didn't have any 18 months no he's saying it wrong they didn't have any 12 months planner that I liked my style 
I plan in a vertical style planner. They had, let me tell you, they have now an hourly. They never had hourly for last year to have for this year. They have an hourly. And I don't plan that style, but they have it for people who do. They also have the um, horizontal, of course. That's not my planning style, so I didn't get it. And they also have a week on one page style. So instead of having your week on two, it's two weeks and two pages. So one whole week on one page. I think that's cool that they're coming out with all these different types of planners. But unfortunately, like I said, I couldn't find one that was just 12 months. So I opt for this. So here we are going to turn, and this is the year at a glance. So you get 2017, 2018 here. That didn't change. And here you get important dates, which didn't change. Something that's different is that instead of one page, it's two because of two years, which is 17 and 18. And then you get important contacts, which also was last year as well. Look at this. Tell me that is not cute. Life is too short to be hangry. Let me tell you, every every single um, divider in this planner reminds me of a sticker that I would actually purchase. This is why I love this one. Okay, guys, I brung down the exposure. It was a little bit too bright so that way you can see it. This monthly page is totally, totally re-ramped, re-ramped, re-vamped, revamped, there you go, from last year. This style that they chose for the monthly reminds me so much of the Happy Planner style, mainly because of the sidebar is on the left instead of the right. So I'm going to pull, and I'm glad I have this next to me because I want to do side-by-side -side comparison Okay, so this is the current planner. This is the current from last year, 2017, July monthly view. As you can see, you have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, Friday, and Saturday here with the note section on the right side, right? Okay. And in the new one, it is totally different because it has Sunday, Monday, Tuesday on the left page with the note section here. And also you get your past month and your next month little view here, which we didn't have, as you can see, in this one, okay? And then you go on to the right page and you get Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, which in this one is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and the notes. And you don't get that here. So to me, this style reminds me a lot of the Happy Planner because the Happy Planner has it this way. And also was, oh my God, that I loved about it. You do not get any color here. It's so clean. Like it's, it's just, cl they cleaned it up big time, which I am glad. They still have some color here, but that's like the Erin Condren and they have color up here. But they do not have the flags with the date. So it's easier to cover up if you like to cover up your dates. I mean, look how much cleaner that looks. No color here like it does here. None at all. And you don't get this block here at the bottom at all on this side either. That's a total revamp, redesign of the planner that was a good one and a thumbs up from me big time. Except I need to find out what I can do for a monthly because this is going to be... I don't know. This is going to give me a headache until I figure out what I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and turn to... Ooh, I'm scared. I don't want to rip it. Okay. Woof. I think I sweat bullets. Okay, so this is the weekly view. And you can see it's totally different. It's so much cleaner. You don't get this big old block of colors down here, but you still get some still in the sidebar. If you don't understand what I'm talking about because you don't have one, and excuse my, not my birds, but the outside birds, if you can hear them, I do have the windows open. Okay, it's a faint. You don't think you could pick that up in the in camera, on the camera. So let me pick a, 
a way that you can see it better. See the block of colors down here and a big old chunk of color here and uh, the actual like date, like the month up here is a big old flag. And then you get the dates huge up here that is hard to cover up with date covers. On to the current one. Let me go to a darker one so you can see it better. Okay, this one's a little bit brighter so you can see it on film. So as you can see, it's totally different. You don't get the big old block of um, color here that's easier to cover with the washer that comes with your kits. And <laughs> have you noticed there's lines down here like the Erin Condren? And you still get the chunk of color, but it's on the sidebar here, but not the whole thing like up here. It's just a section, but it could easily be covered like I usually do. The date up here of the actual month and year is not a big flag. It will be easier to cover if you want to cover because you won't have any shadowing going. And if there is, you could just easily white it out. And there is a note section here with a flag that's black. You could either cover it out, but it's so much easier. I mean, it's so much easier to actually work with that because, let me get to a month. Like, you could seriously see the difference, right? If the chunk is here versus being up here, and it doesn't say goals for the week, it just says notes. The flag is totally not there no more. It's whited out. You see what I mean? It's totally different, and I like that. They made the new one more cleaner. And then the dates, of course, you can see here that they're huge here with colors. And this one is just a little date dot in black. And it'll be easier to cover. And it's neutral, so maybe you won't want to cover it because, hey, if you don't have date covers, it's fine because it's neutral. You know what I mean? It's not color to be like, oh, it's not going to match the kit. I like that. And I think the lines are totally different. Let me see. Yeah, this line from the current one is a solid line and it has dotted lines. Well, dotted line is a dotted line underneath the date. Under the date, there is no line, and the lines separating each column, they're just dot. It's a dotted line, it's not a solid black line like here. Yeah, they did a good job. And here you get dotted lines, and there's nothing here, it's just solid, there's no strips of any type of lines. I think they did an awesome job cleaning it up because it did need to get cleaned up more because of the coloring. I'm not going to go through every single month view because it's the same, but I will show you the tabs. This is August. <laughs> so funny. And then this is September. I mean, come on, it says Michael's on her bag and she has a big old receipt here. Come on, I love this. This is like a sticker that someone would definitely make and people would buy to put in their planner. And then for October, it says creeping it real instead of keeping it, it's creeping it. And that's a sticker anyone would buy. Then November, you get plan all day. And this is another version of a sticker that people could make. And then December is that one, which is my favorite one because that is totally me. In the winter and then oh I never discussed the no page what is the difference in the no page let's check it out oh okay so in the current planner that I have the no page has a long um, flag here and in the new one it's just a half a circle on top so they definitely was trying to keep it clean and not put so much color everywhere so, January, planning a central, which is really cute. That's like a little sticker kit right here. Not a kit, but like a little sticker sampler. And then for September, I'm sorry, February, burning love. Get it? She's trying to make a cake and she burned it. <laughs> so cute. And then you get March of next year. It says planning overhaul. That's me after I finish planning my weeks. <laughs> it's so funny. And then in April, you get a cute girl with her planner wearing galoshes or under an umbrella. This is totally a sticker. This is a sticker that it will work well in this planner. 
or any planner. Then you get May, you get her um, actually doing yoga and trying to relax like I need to do. And then June, you get here bad hair day. Again, on the girl probably upset when holding her planner. Stickers, I'm telling you all these dividers are stickers waiting to be made. Then you get here July of next year. Let that all go. She's just in the beach getting some sun. And then you have August. There goes my no spend week. Come on, this is definitely a sticker. And then, I mean, I would be so happy if they would come out with this um, girl as a sticker for recollection. Because I would definitely buy it. Then you got this cycle that never ends. I have too much. Results do better. And then here, oh look, planner stuff. And then you have, I have so much stuff. Like the planner cycle. That's just so every planner girl. <laughs> or guys. And then you got October. It says done with the day. Come on. That would be a cute, really cute sticker. And then for November, you get this with her little llama. So cute. This is like a, just a relax and chill sticker. I'm going to call all of these stickers because I'm telling you they should be stickers. And then you get this one for December, which is the last one of the year for 2018. It says, tis the season for planning. So, and then you get your note um, tab. And then you get a, a uh, I think it's the same as this year's which is just graph paper, line paper. Then you get stickers, which we have stickers on our current one. It says day off, game day, happy hour, vacation, business trip, event, appointment, party time, happy birthday, um, concert, wedding, big day, and night out. And then I'm so glad they kept the stickers because that's what made this stand out. Which I know by seeing a lot of unboxing of the Erin Condren new planner, she also has stickers now in the back of her book. Well, her planner, should I say. And then this one here is gorgeous. See, they made stickers. I just said that. But I wish they would make a bunch of them. I wish Recollections um, Design Team, if you're watching my video, which I'm sure you're not, make these into sticker book i was so by them so cute got an ice cream truck in the background people <laughs> and then you get this one with the emojis and circle icons and then of course you get your double-sided um folder and you still get your pocket um a zip pocket it's not detachable, but it's there, and I still I have mines. In fact, I'm actually um, holding some stickers right now in there. They do come in handy. And this is the back of the back cover. You're going to die when I show you the back cover. Are you ready? Are you ready? What does this look like to you? I see this back cover, and it just reminds me of a planner meetup. That's it. That's what this reminds me of. A planner meetup. It's so freaking cute. Love it. Love it. They did an awesome job with this cover and this planner. And it's one of my favorite ones that were there. So, let me see. The bag tab says that it contains 252 pages, 378 stickers, one pocket folder, and one zip pocket. So this, my friends, is my new recollection 18-month um, planner, which I will be planning in this planner in July. So moving forward on July of this year, so basically in two months, this will be the new planner that I will be planning in um, to do my um, videos. I do not know what I'm going to do with, with my current one. I, I don't know what I should do with this one. So if you have an idea what I should do with my current one after June, because I'm still going to use it until June, but when it hits July, please, can anyone tell me or give me an idea what I can do with this planner? I still want to use it. Um, so let me know what I should do. Like, give me some ideas. Throw some stuff at me and see if I can actually go ahead and do it. Because I don't want to just let this planner sit. And, yeah, I don't like to be wasteful. So, yeah. Let me know. 
So yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you got excited right along with me. In fact, let me rip this off. Yes, that was so satisfying. <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely let me know if you love this planner. Let me know if you are thinking of getting the new Recollection Planner, 18 months, 12 months. So let me know what you're going to get and if you are. And definitely please give me an idea what I should do with this planner. So if you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And yeah, I have nothing else to say besides I love each and every single one of you. Take care of each other and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.